guys welcome back to my channel and it's your girl abigail so in this video i'm going to be giving you guys 10 powerful companies in the world yes you heard me right so the 10th company on today's list is tencent holding it's actually a chinese based company in china with over 203.48 billion dollars in total assets and it's actually a very reputable company i don't I think the CEO of the company is, um, what name of the CEO? I don't know actually the name of the CEO, but when I once I get the name of the CEO, I'm going to be putting it out in the video. I didn't actually get so much about the company. You know how most of all these Chinese companies are actually very secretive. So I didn't really get much of it, but I know that it's the, most, it's the tenth most powerful company in the world. The ninth company is Berkshire Hathaway. It's actually founded by Warren, Warren Buffett and his friend Charlie Munger. Yeah, Charlie Munger. I've forgotten the year they founded this company, but you know Warren Buffett. Who doesn't know him? Berkshire Hathaway has over $873. Point seven billion dollars in total assets. That's why the fact that Warren Buffett is worth one hundred and thirteen point eight billion dollars. He's a great investor. You all know. He doesn't just invest only in his own company. He has other investment elsewhere. The eighth company on our list today is Tesla Company, with nearly over one trillion in market capitalization. Yeah. And you know, no Elon Musk, the owner of Tesla. So, and Elon Musk is worth over 200 billion. So, if you have a company that has over 1 trillion in market cap, you can imagine the power the company holds. So, don't come for Tesla. So, the seventh company on our list today is Facebook with over 200 billion in total assets. Mark Zuckerberg is the owner of the company. You know he owns Facebook, he owns Instagram, and he owns WhatsApp. Well, that's why the fact is what 185 billion. You guys know that they'll act, they'll actually have other investments in other companies. But you know that that's why the fact they might have privacy issues. But Facebook is powerful. Yeah. Don't come for them. Number six is Alphabet with over one trillion in market value and the third most largest tech company. Yeah, you heard me right. Alphabet. Who doesn't know Alphabet? I think, if I'm not wrong, I think between um, is it between Larry Page? Alphabet is the sixth most powerful company in the world. Number five is Microsoft company with over one trillion in asset and market capitalization. Microsoft. You heard Microsoft? You know Bill Gates. Bill Gates was once the richest man in the world for over many years. I think over when I was young, I always knew Bill Gates as the richest man on earth. Number four is Saudi Aramco with over 1.8 trillion dollars from the Saudi Arabia oil company. Yeah, you heard me right. Saudi Aramco. Before I think this Saudi Aramco was over two trillion in assets or market cap. There was a time it was over 2.4. But because of COVID, it actually went down. So I think now that the COVID is already reducing, make sure you wear your max and get vaccinated it will come back to normal in most businesses suffered from this covid something because there are many businesses that went down struggled and sorry aramco was one of them but they'll still come back so they are the fourth on my list number three is amazon over two trillion dollars is actually the most valuable company in the world Amazon, you all know Jeff Bezos. Yeah, he was the richest man in the world before Elon Musk took over. Coming third position, you know, money, influence, power, whatever, and it's the most valuable company. It, it sells everything, 
everything what doesn't amazon sells everything check their size you see everything whatever you need you find it on amazon so here you go number three amazon number two apple with over 2.25 market capitalization who doesn't know apple use apple every day if you use an iphone or a macbook their storage you know you have to pay for storage when it, whenever your storage is full so apple make a lot of money each year they release brand new phones each year brand new macbook each year what don't they release even airports and that cost over one thousand dollars one thousand dollars everything they release each year it costs over one thousand dollars by the time they didn't release a phone of one thousand dollars i think it was when is it iphone 11 came out yeah i've forgotten the year two years ago yeah please apple in case you see this video reduce the cost of your product <laughs> And number one on my list, BlackRock. BlackRock. Who doesn't know BlackRock? BlackRock, whether you've heard of BlackRock or not, if actually indirectly or directly contributed to their success because they actually deal with finance, asset management whatever you might be saying oh i'm i'm not in connection with blackrock but indirectly you might be in connection with blackrock because most of the banks blackrock owns a stake or how would i put it you know this is their mutual understanding or whatever but i know blackrock does it and if they do it indirectly you're actually participating because you might not know maybe your bank has a connection with blackrock i'm a nigerian first of all but i'm not in nigeria at the moment mommy being a nigerian i have a nigerian bank my country actually borrows from world bank and world bank and blackrock are best of friends <laughs> so imagine if my country have borrowed billions of dollars from blackrock I'm not even, I don't even know because they won't tell me. It's just going to be something behind the scene. They would have maybe given my bank now. Oh, let me give this bank $1 billion, $2 billion. Split the money. I know my government actually split the money to all the old banks, right? So you in your head, you're thinking, oh, I don't deal with BlackRock. F them. Yeah, F them. But indirectly. For BlackRock to have a connection, like they maybe they have a stake in um, World Bank now, and your country is actually borrowing. You know, you have to, when you borrow, you give them interest. You understand? So now, once your country borrow, giving each bank their own, and you are partnering with it, we are partnering with a bank, definitely the interest is going to the government. The government will give it to World Bank. In World Bank, World Bank is sharing the money in BlackRock, so indirectly, it might not be directly, but your money is going to BlackRock. That's how it is. So, and all these um, um, energy, whatever they are talking about, what's the energy something they are talking about? Um, all this preserving energy, green energy, or whatever they talk about. I saw the geology, but I can't really remember <laughs> what they are talking about. But I know they are talking about green, whatever about the atmosphere co2 whatever to take it out of the atmosphere blackrock is actually diverse i can't even, like when i was checking powerful company any company i check and i want to do research on or wherever on what they do whatever blackrock will pop up like that's how powerful blackrock is so these companies can all the from number two to number ten can actually yeah, um, I believe BlackRock has a stake in all these companies. But whoever owns... The CEO of BlackRock, you know him, Larry Fink, is worth over a billion. So, you all know him. And the CEO of Apple, Tim Cook, worth over a billion too. Amazon, Jeff Bezos, worth over 200 billion. So, you can imagine how powerful these companies are very very powerful not just powerful powerful but they are very influential so thank you guys for watching this video in case you want a similar video like this please make sure you 
give your suggestions in the comment section and i'll be reading all of them so thank you for watching like this video share and subscribe have a wonderful day bye peace